Just a quick note on how you can multiply something like this. So decimals obviously complicate the issue, but you note that if we move the decimal two places this way, we can compensate over here by moving the decimal two places this way. Because of that balancing act, we should get the same result. And our new equation would become 25 times 5. So that's going to be uh, 5 times 5 is 25. Carry the 2 up here. It's going to be 125. Now remember, the, the trick here is that if I move this decimal over 2, I can compensate by moving this decimal over 2, and I get the same result. Just a little trick that can be useful in a few cases. What really made it useful here is the fact that this ended with a couple of zeros. Not something you would probably want to do all the time, but just another way to uh, think about certain decimal operations. Thank you.